morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I think this is going to be more of just a general London place, uh, London, what is wrong with me? Recently I have not been able to string my sentences together. I think this is going to be more of a London based vlog, kind of getting back into the swing of work. I have an event attend attendance this week, um, Bash and I we have a really exciting shoot today together which is fun we rarely get to shoot together so we have like a little valentine's day shoot for page denim and they want it shot around london they've kind of given us a general mood board but we're able to interpret it into our style which is really really exciting and it's nice being able to shoot with bash because like having his support on set and he's genuinely so fun to shoot with like he keeps the energy up so that would be really fun and then this evening we had dinner with friends and then um tomorrow we also have quite a busy day we have a louis vuitton event which is quite exciting and we're going to one of our favorite restaurants we haven't been able to get a table there in a while because it's been booked and busy which i love for them that makes me so so happy and just oh just we're kind of trying to do our favorite things just before we go away to Thailand because we know we're not going to get particular food when we're out there. We leave in three days, guys. I can't believe it. I'm finally going on a holiday to somewhere I haven't been before. We haven't done this for like seven years, maybe. We have like most holidays that we have been on have been in places that we've been before. So this is like our first holiday in like seven years to a place really 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 far away that we have never been so i'm very psyched for that but let's stay in the present and focus on the day that i have ahead so i'm just getting ready i'm doing my makeup and we leave in like 45 minutes so i have 45 minutes to do my hair my hair and makeup but hair's basically done i just straightened it this morning because i was having a really bad hair day my curly hair was not giving me the light of day so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna straighten it. Whilst I get ready, I thought it'd be fun to talk about hopes and dreams for 2024. Um, I kind of covered it really, really, really briefly in my Q&A, which was my last video, but I thought it would be fun to go more in depth with my goals and my aspirations for 2024. You guys are probably wondering where am I, but I've decided to use the upstairs bathroom to get ready in. Um, Bash is currently having a shower, so this was my op only option, but I should probably get ready in here more often because it's actually such a vibe. But because it's upstairs, I, I'm i quite lazy and I don't ever wanna go up the stairs to get ready. I'd rather just do it in the bathroom that is connected to our bedroom. Anyway, so. Goals and aspirations for 2024. <laughs> so we, I think we're gonna travel a lot this year. This is what I'm envisioning for us. We've already got a lot of travel opportunities. We've just been um, emailed with an opportunity to go to uh, Dubai after we get back from Thailand. And that will be really, really lovely. We've been to Dubai before. Look, Dubai is what it is. It's not like the most, Na like natural place it hasn't got loads of greenery it is what it is it's very built up it's very modern but i can tell you one thing dubai has the best food that i have ever had abroad so that is kind of like selling it to us because we are such foodies we love food so just to have like a little weekend eating good food soaking in the sun experiencing the extravagant hotels it's not bad it's not bad so i think we're going to do that goal number one post more on youtube guys i need your help with this because i would say i'm relatively i'm ready oh, there you go again i'm relatively new to youtube it has been officially no not officially it has been a year of youtube pretty much officially will be in a few weeks time um Yes, I'm still new to YouTube. I'm still getting into the swing of things. If there's any like trending videos that I'm missing out on that I should be posting, let me know because I look with my job, I'm constantly traveling. 
I'm out and about, I'm in meetings, I'm working, I'm shooting, I don't have like the most time to watch YouTube videos. So you guys, I need your help to keep me up with the YouTube trends. But when I do have time, I will try I do try and watch as much YouTube as possible. I sometimes prefer to watch YouTube sometimes over a movie. So um, my dedication is there, guys. Sorry, this light is making me look a little bit pale. And I'm just trying to quickly get ready and talk to you guys at the same time. So in a, in a bit of a rush because I, I don't like being late. I would say I'm really, really, really good at being punctual which is very important for this job. If you're late to a meeting or to a shoot, that is not a good look. Number two, buy a property. My dream, I've said this in my last video, is to, the moment I started making money, I remember saying to myself, Sarah, you're gonna start saving this money so that you can buy a property. And I really, really, really hope 2024 is the year that I buy somewhere. Interest rates at the moment are so crazy. So that's kind of like scaring me away from buying property, but maybe I should look at it in a different way. Like price house, house prices are going down because of the high interest rates. So it kind of evens it out a little bit and just stop making excuses for myself. And I also need to figure out exactly where I want to live. So I'm, I've been in two minds. I'm like, yeah, I would love to live in London, but then I also desire the countryside all the time. Whenever I step out of my door and there's just motorbikes speeding past, sirens going off, car horns beeping. I'm just like, get me out of the city. I just want peace and quiet. And I also think that London has kind of given me everything that I can gain from it. I have lived here literally my whole life so maybe the countryside is calling me and in one of my um, affirmations affirmation cards that my friend read to me it said you will be moving to the countryside and i just took that as like that was that was that was it for me that was a universe telling me what i should do but my family live in london which i'm really grateful for and i'm so lucky to have that not a lot of people have that so that's kind of what's keeping me here is knowing that I can literally drive in 20 minutes and I'll be at my family's house. So I don't know, but it would be my absolute dream just to own a property anywhere in the UK. Okay, this sounds incredibly materialistic, but one of my goals is to buy more clothes. I'm not saying to buy brand new clothes. I love shopping secondhand. I love a bargain. I love places like Vestiaire Collective, Depop. So um, even if it means buying some more vintage pieces, look, at the end of the day, as a content creator, it is my job to wear nice things, like the latest designer items. I'm very lucky that I get to loan pieces from my favorite brands, but sometimes they're incredibly vivid Look, sometimes they're incredibly busy and they can't get me pieces for when I need them. So just, yeah, just kind of like expanding my wardrobe. My, you'll be surprised actually, my wardrobe's so, so small at the moment. I'm very generous with giving away clothes to friends and family. So I always try and have the minimum amount of pieces in my wardrobe, but because I get things for free so often, I feel that I'm losing my style a little bit. Not completely, like I still have the things that I like, but um, by buying things for myself means that I'm kind of cre creating my own style and maintaining my own style rather than relying on pieces that I get for free. I also, another goal is to create more organic content and you guys might not understand what I mean by that. So organic content is just content that I've gone out to create myself out of my own will and it isn't like a paid ad or anything. And I just want to be able to really, really expand all of my platforms being YouTube Shorts, TikTok and my Instagram. So I just want to like really create um, content in clothes and using products that I genuinely love, love, love. And I just wanna make more of an effort because it can be quite hard when you're working so often to focus on your own organic content. So yeah, that is definitely something I want.
to focus on a little bit more and I can I guess that kind of ties in for to wanting to buy more clothes throughout the year because I need those pieces to create the content and don't worry guys it go pieces always go to someone that loves them so I don't hoard everything also guys let me know what kind of short form content you prefer and what you like watching for instance get readies with me I know that loads of people do them they can become quite tedious because it's like oh I've seen this before or if you want to see more cooking videos yeah or more makeup tutorials let me know because that really helps when you guys give me suggestions because I, it's, I'm doing I'm doing this with you because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be doing it I want to always also become a little bit more organized so that means clearing out pictures on my phone and videos on my phone that I don't need clearing out all my emails I think I'm one of those people guys I have like 1000 unread emails most of them are junk so it's like unsubscribing from loads of things um, making sure I have enough YouTube videos filmed in advance so we're not last minute rushing um, having to edit a video on a Sunday so I would like to be able to film quite a few videos in advance just so that they're ready and I know that you guys are gonna get the content that you want because I never want to end up in a situation where I get to a Sunday and I'm like oh my god I don't have any videos to post because I know you guys will freak out and you'll be like oh my god where are you and then I also would want to like clear my desktop get rid of files that are just lingering about that I don't need. My desktop is so messy. Oh. Yeah, so just generally, maybe like I need to start writing a diary. I need, to, we have a schedule that we run by and just making sure that I check that more often and just giving myself like things to do in, in, in the organization sense. So yeah, I have a few goals that I would like to achieve. Health, I really, really want to stay on top of working out. Last year, I would say, I, I could, I know for a fact, I could have been way, way better at working out. Even today, I didn't work out because I was like, okay, I really want to get ready for this shoot. But Sarah, you should have got up an hour earlier and you would have maybe had an extra hour to work out so it's like about making more of an eff effort for my health look at me I'm poking my eyes I have started enjoying running my best friend Rosie she picks me up some mornings and we go for a run so that's a very supportive friend I must say I would like to also focus on yoga a little bit more just always making sure there is time in the day for my health honestly there shouldn't be any excuse I also want to make sure I'm always on top of my work and um, making all my clients happy. I work with some of the most amazing brands, so I just want to always make sure they're happy with the work that I create. Um, for instance, I have contracts with some brands, so actually like channeling my energy into the contracts, my like yearly contracts. So that's like just always prioritizing those brands and making sure I'm wearing those pieces that I love that they release and just making an extra effort with them because they make me so happy when I know that like something beautiful is coming out this season. So I just want to make sure I always support those brands that support me and um, with brands that I work with on social media I will never say yes to a brand that I don't feel passionate about and if I genuinely don't like the product I'm not going to work with you so I am just um, trying to make sure that I keep all the clients that I work with happy and if they're happy I'm happy okay so I have finished my makeup let me know your dreams and aspirations and goals for 2024 guys and it's also never too late to create new goals and new aspirations. But just because it is a new year, you can also have new goals in 2024, 20, midway through the year. So it doesn't have to all be at once in this new year. You can also strive for new things mid-year, in two months. There is no time frame. 
let me really quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. I really need to rush off. I'm wearing my Hugo Crete earrings. This is like a cos cape shawl um, jacket scarf mix thing, which is insane. And this is like a cos leather jacket. My puffy skirt is from Y3. It is massive, but I love the balloon shape. And I'm wearing my new rock boots and the bag that I'm going for is my Mew Mew double mini handbag. And this is my look. Okay, I really have to rush off, otherwise I'm gonna be late. I wanted to show you guys my outfit in full action. Can you see the shoes? Yeah. And here is how the pictures look. Here, here and here. And now we're on to the next look. So I've got to get changed in the car. We're just waiting for the photographer to arrive so we can get a couple shots for the shoot that we need to do. Earlier, I was telling everyone my goals and aspirations for 2024. What are yours? Oh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> I said um, I'd like to buy a property, mm -hmm. um, grow my channels, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok, and short, well, short form content on YouTube shorts as well. I also said to make like our yearly contractual clients like super happy by like giving them like the best content possible. Um, I also said, I can't remember, I think those were like the main ones. What about yours? I don't know. Oh, my health as well, like prioritizing working out. Like today, for instance, I should have got up an hour earlier than I would have had time to work out. Yeah, but we did the walk, so... I know, yeah. Go on, you have to say something! Just health, just health. Improve my health every day. Buy a new car? Is that... That's, that's gonna It's happen. a materialistic yeah, I'm not goal. Really, I'm not into that. But Maybe. we do want a new car, so let's manifest getting yeah, our new car. We're gonna get a new car. It's gonna be healthy. What car do we want? We would like a Porsche. But we also love driving the Defender, so um, either of those, we'll, the Defender would be very nice. We'll make it happen. Always, all our, but we would like to. We should sit down and do a mood board of um, yeah, like a vision board. A, yeah, the future, so that we have something to manifest from. Hey guys, so we arrived back from our shoot about an hour ago and I have just been unpacking everything that we bought with us, tidying up the house a bit, trying to make it feel a little bit normal. And now I'm just getting dressed to go for dinner. The shoot went really, really well. It's so nice shooting with Bash and it's so nice to have pictures together because I know that in 20 years time, we'll look back on these days and be like, we were so young, look how young and fresh and healthy we look. So yeah, it's nice not only to work together, but to create memories. It was freezing today and when you're shooting outside it just makes everything so much harder so we came back home with a little bit of a chill which is not nice but that is what happens when you live in the uk so i say that we should probably resort to moving to a country a little bit more warmer joking i don't think we will be leaving our residency in the uk anytime soon Although, if I could, I would love to live in Ibiza, but I think even in Ibiza at the moment it's quite cold, but definitely not as cold as London. Um, but look, you just have to plough through the weather and hope to not become sick. Yeah, so now I'm ready. I'm, our dinner is super, super, super casual. Um, we're driving down to our friends and we're going to meet them. We're going to have a good meal. I... I honestly I don't know what I'm wearing I didn't want to wear tracksuit bottoms um so I decided to wear the baggiest outfit that I could find just because I've been cold all day and I just want to be so comfortable so I'm dressed like a 90s skateboarder today I just realized my jeans are filthy because I had tequila on tequila sat on me yesterday and she was eating a biscuit and it's all over these jeans so I'm just going to wash them off 
and then I'll give you a little outfit of the day. Okay, this is what I'm wearing, honestly. I'm in a little bit of a rush again. I feel like I've been rushing all day. So this is my um, shirt that I'm wearing. This is an Attico shirt and I've layered it with Bash's Ralph Lauren jumper. I know it's very, very frumpy, but I'm so comfortable and this is the most casual dinner. So I'm not looking to wear anything um, special. My Calvin Klein jeans and my New Balance sneakers. I'll give you a closer look with cashmere socks. That is how cold it is here in the UK. Bash, do you want to give it? You're dressed as comfy as I am. Yeah, of course. I, I love this. We didn't even plan this. Bash is wearing a Ralph Lauren jacket. And the hoodie, cold box and trousers, Uggs. That is the ultimate comfort shoe. I should be wearing Uggs, but instead I'm wearing my New Balance Grandad sneakers. You're not going to be warm enough. We're just getting in the car. I'm going to have to put something else on as well. Is it crazy that I've tried to dress this up with these earrings? It just, it just doesn't go, does it? This might be a fashion disaster. You know what? I'm so happy. I do not care. In case we can't find anywhere to park and we have to walk a little bit, I'm just going to wear Bash's acne jacket. I love this bomber jacket. It's so cool. And look at the cuffs. I am channeling my inner 90s tomboy. For like... I feel like 10 year old me again. Okay guys, um, I'm ready to go for dinner. Good morning guys. I hope you are all well. I've just, I woke up like an hour ago and I had a little ritual morning where I started reading and it's actually been a really nice slow morning. I'm just making a coffee. Um, I've made myself a latte. Dinner yesterday, it was okay. It wasn't like the best Indian meal I have ever had, but it did the job. I was craving a curry, I was craving rice. So it was nice, but it wasn't like, it wasn't anything special and I love my Indian cuisine. So I think I have a very, very, very high expectation when it comes to Indian food. My, I'd say like my favorite places for Indian food in London is definitely Gymkhana. That's definitely up there. Um, I think, I believe they got a Michelin star, but it isn't like really fancy, picky, small portions. It's really hearty full of flavor and so delicious. And it's actually owned by the same group as Bear and Jack, where we're going tonight. Bear and Jack is one of our favorite restaurants and we just know that we're not gonna have Bear and Jack for two weeks when we go away to Thailand. So we're like, oh, we've got to get a Bear and Jack meal in before we leave. So I'll be showing you our meal tonight. Like I can't stop smiling because I love Bear and Jack that much. So we have that tonight. So Jim Khanna, our favorite Indian restaurant is owned by the same group. And then for like, it's quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So if you want like more of a, um, like a cheaper Indian, Dishoom is a really good option. Their chicken ruby is their chicken curry dish and it is so good. They have gunpowder potatoes, which inspires us to make them at home. That's how much we like them. Their rice is good. I'm very judgmental with rice. Since I met Bash, I have like had such good rice that now when it comes to eating out, if the rice isn't good, I can be so like picky. Like I can really tell when rice is overdone and I cannot stand overcooked rice just as much as I can't stand overcooked pasta. Where else do I like having Indian food? Um, Tiffin tin is good for takeaway. They're, well, I think they used to be better like 10 years ago, but as time kind of went on, they became more and more popular and they opened more branches. And I think they're not as good as they used to be, but it's a good like safe takeaway option if you're ever staying in London and need to do a takeaway. But yeah, I'd definitely say Jim Carner and Dishoom. There is somewhere else that I have in my head, but I just can't think where. No, I can't think of the name. This is really, really bugging me. 
Okay, I have to Google it. Okay, I'm Googling, I'm Googling, I'm Googling. Ooh, I found it. It's called Jammer Bar. That was really good. I've only been once, but I remember eating and just being like, I'm 100% coming back here. This food is fire. But there's a lot of um, places I want to try. There's also um, Bombay Bustle is one that I really would love to try. If any of you guys have ever tried it, let me know. See, want to see what you think. Bibi is really good. Again, owned by the same group as um, Jim Connor and Baron Jack. But that's more like you're not going for like a hearty Indian when you go to Bibi. It's more like you leave not feeling like you've had Indian food. It's just like very light and it, they play more on the concept of Indian food rather than delivering really traditional dis dishes. Just looking at myself and I'm like, oh, I look rough. I look tired. And I'm not going to lie, I am tired. Um, we had a late night last night because we were out with friends. And then we came back and we're watching Hijack at the moment with Idris Elba. It's quite good. It's like about um, a plane that gets hijacked by these like English gangsters. It's good. I don't want to give give too much away if you haven't seen it, but I'd recommend trying um, giving that a go if you haven't got anything to watch. But I'm going to go and sit down and download loads of things onto my iPad for my flight to Thailand because we have a 13 hour flight. Help me. I do not like flying. I find flying so boring. But, you know, to get to our destination, I've got to, I've got to just deal with it, haven't I? Honestly, all Bash and I have been talking about is Thailand. We haven't spoken about anything else. We're so, so excited and I'm so excited to vlog it. I feel like travel vlogs are so fun to um, put together and deliver to you guys so you can really see like a different side to what I usually vlog because I feel like a lot of my vlogs are London vlogs like this one. So it's really exciting for me to take you guys with me on holiday. This camera is so cool. It like tracks me. It looks like someone's holding it and they're following me, but no, my camera's tracking me. <laughs> okay, I've got things to do. Let me really quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. The house is a mess, so do not judge the mess behind me. I will clean up, um, but we just want to catch the light before it disappears because it's already turning cloudy and this morning there were blue skies so we're gonna rush out and catch the sun whilst we can but i am wearing my ami paris trench my prada cleo which it's her first outing and i'm very excited to wear her my um turtleneck is from uniglo my chain is from dior and my earrings are yisu my this is actually a dress as you can see here but I just thought it was too much going on, so I've kind of made it into a skirt, which I thought was quite smart. And this dress is from um, Chapova Lawena. And then my boots are my Andamula Mista boots. I, it's freezing outside, so I have crazy layers on. I have my workout leggings on under this, which is perfect because I'm going to go to the gym later, so I'm not going to need to change. I'll just need to take my dress off. And yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to tidy up because this is really stressing me out. But we're gonna catch the light. Oh my God, it looks, what's the time right now? It's quarter past 11. It's quarter past 11. It literally looks like it's seven o'clock at night outside. London can be so depressing. We drove to Regent's Park to start shooting and the weather just got worse and worse. As you can see, it's so, so cloudy. And we were hoping to have blue skies because film photos look so much better with blue skies, but I think we got some good pictures with this baby girl. Such a good bag. I think this is, might be one of my favorite bags at the moment. Here is how the content looks. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, so now we're just gonna drive to the film lab to drop off the film and then we're gonna go home. <laughs> Okay, so I just got home and I started packing for Thailand and I realized that the jewelry that I wanted to pack was filthy and I will show you how filthy this jewelry is. So I wanted to pack some of my chunky silver rings, but they're just so, they just look so dirty. Like these are real silver and they look like that. 
These are quite cool. I used to um, wear rings like this all the time when I was younger, and I decided to bring them back. These are these rings are all like seven, eight years old, but they need a clean. So I'm going to clean them, and I'm following a YouTube tutorial. So this is how you clean your real silver jewelry. He puts foil in a bowl. Okay, so I have to make sure the shiny side is facing upward, so I've done it the wrong way. I hope this works, guys. So I'm using bicarbonate soda, and in America, I think they call it baking soda. So I'm just gonna add that into the bowl, apparently. God, I hope this works. Okay, then I place the silver jewelry inside the bowl. Do you know what? There's so much space in this bowl. I might go and get some more jewelry that I have just so it's clean. I found some more silver jewelry. This is like a belt chain. This is really dirty. Okay. Add it in. This is really exciting. Okay, so over here I've just boiled some water. I can't believe I'm giving you guys a tutorial on how to clean your silver jewelry, but I feel like this will be quite handy. Let me check I'm doing this right. Okay. So that's just covering. It kind of smells. How do I never think to do this? Look how dirty the water is. And that is all muck off our silver jewelry. That is crazy. Whoa. I showed you this one earlier already. Look how much more clean that is. It is shining. Oh my God, my kitchen light is just flashing because it's running out of battery. So I really need to sort that out. It's so annoying, so I'm sorry. But how insane is that? Wow. So I'm gonna give everything like a little brush. Oh my God, I can't believe the difference. This is crazy. <gasps> the amount of dirt on these rings was insane. Look how much better that is. By the way, most of these rings are from the Great Frog. This is actually something Bash's dad made him, I think. But yeah, all the rings that look like that are from the Great Frog. It's so crazy because this was basically black when I showed you guys. Now it's so, so, so shiny. This is so exciting. I'm definitely procrastinating right now because I should definitely be packing for Thailand, but instead I'm cleaning jewelry. I hate packing. Oh, I find it so, so boring. We made it to dinner. We're at our favorite restaurant ever. I can't wait. for Bash's dad's birthday and ha literally we haven't had time since and so it was so worth it it was so so good if you ever go to Baron Jack you have to get the juja kebab it's the chicken skewers they're so good and the balao which is the sweet corn is so juicy oh, and the shirazi salad is like one of my favorite salads to have and they do it really well it was really really good and now we're on our way to a Louis Vuitton event. It's so nice in the smart car, just whipping between places. Yeah, so we'll literally be there in like three minutes. Um, I think I'll miss the smart car when it goes bash. Yes. We're, we're in the process of trying to find, in, uh, of buying a new car. So once we get back from Thailand, we will, fingers crossed, have a new car because we have completely outgrown the smart car. It's been fun for the last however many years we've had it, but we feel like it's time to upgrade now and time to make some more space because we shoot, we go around London, we shoot all day and it's hard to get changed and have clothes in the smart car. So goodbye, smart car.
morning. Good morning, child. She's such a baby. <laughs> we were just saying that she's in dog years, she's a grown up and she still acts like a puppy. Oh, baby. Good morning, guys. Yes, good morning. It is pitch black. Okay, this camera doesn't like show how dark it is right now, but it is really dark. Look. We're just on the heath doing a morning walk with tequila before we take her to Sussex. It's so cold. It is freezing. It's muddy. But doing walks like this in the morning you feel so good and it's so worth it. I am going to carry on vlogging when it's light and the sun is out because um, it's just so gloomy right now. In some of my videos I mention my favourite places well my favourite cafes and my favourite bakeries and I'm about to take you to my favourite bakery and my favourite cafe for coffee and pastries and since we're going to Thailand we know we're not going to get any pastries um, we're going to try and avoid those kind of things so we're going to indulge just before we leave I can't wait I really shouldn't be having a pastry though because my gluten intolerance has flared up Look, this is what happens when I have gluten and I had like a little bit of bread yesterday and my skin today is suffering but Sarah has no self-control but it's fine I'm not having anything like that in Thailand because I feel like when I'm gonna have a pastry I'm gonna have the best pastry that I can have and I know for sure there's no French bakeries in Thailand which is a good thing God, I can't wait to go to Thailand. I'm gonna have pad thais every day. I'm gonna have Thai green curry every day, fried rice, mango with sticky rice, everything. But I'm gonna miss you, tequila. Hi. just got home from our walk and the cafes and bakeries that we went to so I'm gonna give you a bakery haul Ta -da! we bought quite a lot of things because we just want a taste of everything I'm so excited for this but from now onwards we're being good okay I'm gonna pick this up with tissues because I haven't actually washed my hands I should probably do that now actually okay so in Karma Bakery, the first place we went to, we got some challah bread. This is the best. I'm selling you this loaf of bread right now. I don't even care. This is the best loaf of bread I have probably ever had. It's so sweet. It's so spongy, yet so light at the same time and so buttery. And we would usually just, we wouldn't even slice it. We'd just rip it apart with our hands and just put, butter on it or jam is super simple but we also used to make sandwiches with this and it was elite it was so good but this is a loaf of bread for Bash's dad because we know how much he loves this challah bread sadly this isn't for us okay I just washed my hands it would be so gross to have been in the park and tuck into these pastries without washing my hands okay let me get a plate okay so first we have this is all from now everything i'm about to show you is all from redemption so the bread was from karma bakery and now everything i'm about to show you is from redemption i saw that they recently started doing these look at that oh my gosh like the ripples on the pastry just looks so light and delicate and this is um I guess it's like a croissant or a pan of chocolat. However, there's custard inside it. So there's chocolate and custard. So I think I'm gonna warm this one up. I'm gonna put that in the air fryer. Oh, and then Bash got himself an actual pan of chocolat. 
I always know when a pan au chocolat is going to be good because it has like the ripples here. Okay, as soon as I saw this, it brought me straight back to Norway. I'm half Norwegian, guys, so um, the smell of the cardamom, 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 cardamom bun was just, I couldn't resist it. So that smells like, it smells like a big lump of cinnamon with bread mixed with, a, a mixed with the smell of cardamom and it's sweet. Oh my gosh, could, I think I'm gonna put this in the um, air fryer to warm it up as well. There's nothing better than warm pastry. Oh, Bash tucked into this already. Um, this is, what was this one called? Babka. Babka. It's chocolate croissant pastry with pistachios on top. And I see he's already bitten into that. So that is the four pastries that we bought from the bakery. Ah. Okay. Are you gonna have yours now, Bash? Okay, I wanna put, to you're gonna have a coffee? Maybe I'll have another coffee. So to warm these up, we're gonna put them in the air fryer. I'm, I don't know if it's a good idea to put the cardamom bun in the air fryer to warm it up, but let's try. I am super excited to try this because it just looks so beautiful. Guys, this could be an absolute disaster, by the way. It would probably be smart for me to um, Google this. Should I roast it or reheat? Okay, we're gonna reheat for two minutes. Mm, okay. I'm so excited. Okay, let's give this a go. It's nice and warm now. That is so good. Usually I don't know how I, how I feel about custard in my pastries, but this is like the perfect balance of chocolate and custard. I feel like if I'm gonna eat both of these, I can't, eat all of it because I'm going to feel sick with so much sugar. Okay, now, time Is it for... enough um, to reheat? Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. There's just a little bit too much sugar on the top, which is making it a little bit sickly. But if I eat it from the bottom, I won't catch a lot of the sugar. This is what weekends are for for good food that you want to enjoy. On the way to drop off the doggo. Are you ready to go home to the countryside? Are you ready to go and be in the garden? And go for lots of walkies? Yes! Look at her, she's just so cute. No, she's gonna have such a good time in the countryside. And we'll be back before you know it, yeah. honestly had the longest day we're back in London we started packing I'm pretty much done I'm like eight percent packed and I am ready for dinner bash can we have fish and chips yes let's go <gasps> what a way to send ourselves off from London with a good old fish and chips I'm excited for this honestly it's been such a long day I do not have time to cook if I had to cook right now and then wash it up it would just be a whole Thing, I think I'd pass out. So if we just go and get a really quick takeaway, that'll be so good. Okay, uh, I've got to bring the rubbish out. I'm gonna put my shoes on and then let's go. So I got chips, pickle. We got some fish and goujons, and this is what Bash got. Yum yum yum. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be wrapping up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I am ready 
we are all dressed and we are going to Thailand this morning. So I'm going to see you next week for some Thailand vlogging. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've got my face mask on. Well, you can't really tell, but it's like an oil mask. Hair slipped back. Airport outfit is on. I am ready. All right. I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>